Making memories is one of my favorite things about attending and being a part of concerts since I was a kid. Those memories are some of the ones that will stick with me forever. Like when an artist does something crazy on stage that shocks you, or maybe ask a fan in the crowd to come up and sing with them to start a song. These are the memories that sometimes make our lives. The reason why is because we either felt some type of inclusion from the artist that made us feel connected to, or experienced a moment we never felt through a song until we heard it live. So in today's episode of Doing That, we are continuing our series giving insight of life on the road through making the shows memorable. Since the past leg of the tour, I will say, most of us were super eager to get back out and hang and have fun again. Even though this is actually work, it doesn't feel like it depending on the crew you're traveling with. This past weekend, our front of house engineer, Jordan Dye, recorded all the audio from the past concerts. And over the past few days, we all had a chance to review it so we can see what we needed to tighten up in the set. After listening back and also seeing some of the videos the church has recorded, the set musically sounded and looked pretty good for the first leg but I believe there was a mutual feeling of wanting more that all of us felt, which made us think, how can we make the set more memorable? So after a few days, we are back out on the road this weekend, headed to Gulfport, Mississippi and Denver, Colorado. But guys, y'all gonna have to pray for Julian because he has had the worst travel experiences so far on this tour. It changed my flight till 7 30 p.m from 7 a.m and i'm supposed to be there at like before seven because the concert's at seven so all i know is this is gonna make some good content or it's gonna make some bad content because if i'm not there this episode is canceled after landing in new orleans we had to drive an hour and a half to the venue of the concert which was a church called the Pentecostals of the Gulf Coast. It was a good sized room, and this was also the artist's hometown, so he was expecting a lot of friends and family. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. How did Julian get here? So I literally got to the airport and I told the lady, she was so nice, the lady at the front, I was like, hey, listen, you guys rebooked my flight, but I can't miss this flight. And I had to put some pressure on it. So I was like, yo, if I miss this and I'm not there by, a certain time, I will get fired from my job. So Did like, you really bro, I, I, I had to do something. <laughs> put that heat on it. I had to put the heat on it. So she like, all right. So this is the thing. The flight, um, there was a flight leaving like in ten minutes to go to North Carolina. So that flight was a full flight, and they had twenty people on standby. Right? I would have been number twenty one when I told her that. She put me at number two. So, like, sure enough, they were like calling people, and I made it on that flight. And then um, went to North Carolina, made it on that. I was on standby for that one, but that airport was a little bit less full. So, uh, and then I made it here on time. But, bye bye. Hey, my Bible says that all things work together. Cause, hi, hiya, hiya, hiya. <laughs> I was supposed to get here at 12.45 and I ended up getting here at 10. Now back to the story. Julian, tell us, tell us what happened. What happened? Why are you so mad? I'm just minding my own business in the group <laughs> chat, right? And I sent a picture, like, letting everybody know that I'm here. And Sister Hill, out of nowhere, said, I look like a me. What, what? A mime? A mime. A mime. mime. <laughs> Yo. Hey, Let's look at that shirt, though. Where is Waldo looking? <laughs> so this is us right here, y'all. Oh, yeah. All right. And then this is bad. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, we got a little shower, a little bath. Oh yeah, bro. I'm about to get my clippers in here. You need an edge too? Yeah, I may, I may need an edge, right, bro. Now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to try on the James Wilson wedding slash tour fit. Custom made. Oh, oh, does it Look button? At the fit. What? I do say so myself. It kind of looks better on me than it does. <laughs> oh. oh I know. It looks like it was tailored to me. We're just getting set up. 
Uh, this is James' hometown, so it's expecting a good crowd. But yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's been, man, such a day. So we had a bit of a long sound check on this stop because something about the set just felt a bit empty. We didn't know if it was the sound or if we needed to change the arrangement of a song. Something just needed to change. So, you know, when you fart and that joint stinks really bad and you don't, it's David King. <laughs> and you didn't think that joint was gonna stink so bad. That's my mix right now. Oh. It just keeps getting worse and worse the more I fart. Because of the amount of things we had to do pre-show and during, I wasn't able to get any footage of the actual concert. But I was able to grab a lot of footage from the next stop in Denver. So after the concert, our hotel was in New Orleans, so we had to drive another hour and a half there so we can try and wake up in time for our early morning flight to Denver. All right, so it's just about to be 6 a.m. and uh, heading to the airport to go to Denver. So I feel like this is gonna be a very interesting day. <laughs> I, I, some stuff I didn't get on footage last night. We had some uh, little issues in that right, Colton? <laughs> yeah. And so, and so now uh, I think we're gonna be interested. It's gonna be uh, interesting when it comes to just like flights and stuff. Cause there's a lot of things we don't know until we get to the airport, so. Uh, let's see what happens. You okay, Julian? I'm sorry, yeah, I just can't do it right now. I can't come through with the character. Uh, you, know, you look, you look yeah. worse than you did last week. But you know, it's crazy because I, I probably look worse, but I feel better. Because we actually got sleep last night. You know, like we got probably what, like five hours of sleep? We got to see the agent <sighs> and get our... 9.30 and get our stuff because oh, that sucks either we're not all gonna make it or we're all gonna make it and everybody's i don't know if they're gonna try to charge us extra or what they're gonna try to do because right now we don't even have seats on this flight My boy Julian helped me out carrying my bags. This is what it takes to be an MD. It's not just, you know, yelling at them, telling them to go to the six. It's carrying their bags, caring for them, making sure you give them a hug when they wake up. <laughs> Gabby. Praise him. Praise him, sister. We're about to eat. Shut up. Yes. yes, come on Did now. You video this chip table over yes, there? I know. It looks oh. amazing. They all you though. All right, guys. So we just finished lunch for this stop. Hey, y'all feeling all right? Y'all did? Feeling good. The elevation. I am feeling uh, the elevation. Elevation's not messing with me, but this slumber is about to impart wisdom, peace, power. He looks so sad. You look so sad. I am sad. Why? Why would I not be sad? Just My because friends all left me, dude. They <laughs> During our sound check, we started tightening up our intro, and James had thought of a couple of things he could potentially do to spice up the set, but wasn't 100% sure if it would actually make a huge difference. But then he jumped on the organ and got inspired. He looked at Julian 
and said, the band is feeling so good right now. What if I jumped on the keyboard and jammed with y'all at the end of the set? And Jillian's response was, ain't got no problem. I'm good to go. So leading up to the concert that night, we were a little bit nervous on if these changes were gonna work or if they really were gonna spice up the set. So we kinda had to take this little energy that we had and cope with it. Yes. Glory, get it, boy. Hey, Woo. sometimes you gotta let your feet do the talking for you. Woo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me see it. Boy, that boy Travis said, hey, hey, that, boy, man, that, man, that boy man, Travis man. said, hold my bass. So now, let's see what happens. I need I, I need a volunteer that thinks they got it real good volunteer a teal green looking dress come on come on come on come on come on come on all right what's your name Anna Anna y'all know Anna all right all right all right do you think you can do this yes yes oh, okay all right here we go you ready one two one two three the name of the Lord is a strong tower, a strong tower for me. By the end of this weekend, we were super excited because of how these changes made the set so much more memorable. Like I said at the beginning, live concerts can be memories that people hold on to forever. So by connecting to people during shows or concerts, you can create the memories that people go back to for the rest of their lives. So if you guys like my videos and want to support this channel, feel free to check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description below. Like and like subscribe. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hit the hit the yes. button. Hit the like. Somewhere, yes. somewhere here. Somewhere. <laughs> yeah, somewhere. Yes. Like like right here. Right here. My name's right here, or his name's right there. Yes. But like right here. Check out Roy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.